Hola bonitas, this time we are contouring a face with powder. You use this technique if you have oily skin and it's also more night out makeup because you will have more foundation on the face because you need to powder it. So I already applied a matte foundation, I put a little bit of powder over and now I'll contour with powder so powder on powder will slide nicely. I apply the foundation that is one tone lighter than her neck because this is how I bring the face forward. I'm using Kevin O'Quan shadow because it's between grey and brown and shadows are actually grey so this will look really natural. Put my brush in it, I'm using quite a wide brush. Start on a forehead, I kick the brush off <laughs> on a model <laughs> and then rub it in with circular motions down here like this I'll do it slightly stronger that you guys will be able to see it um, rub it in and then here I go in a jawline like this I just need to push this part slightly in that it gets softer just this part and then really put it in a neck here you need to brush it lightly so look, I do it very strong on this part, just one part of the face that you see how it changes. Here down. And then you go slightly like this. You've seen this technique also in the previous video, just to make a gradient. I go in, 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 in. That you know, you get colder like this. More, 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 more. In a jawline. This is the part that you want to make soft. Just go. With a, with a thick brush, because this is how I make a very nice gradient. With a thick brush it's far easier. I think the main problem with contouring is that it's really hard to put it here in the hairline because it doesn't stick. That's why now I use a brush, more precise brush and I really try to rub it in the hairline because when you're using cream contours you can easily do that. They just stay, you know, oily on oil, but with this one you need to be more careful and put slightly more effort. You can have fun and do natural contours, close it, also just here, so this will look like a natural crease, here inside, down, like this, this is a natural crease, and then I go on this part and I extend it here. So you see this contour here prolongated the eye, made it more element shape and everything we'll do now needs to go up, up, up because this is how I lift her face and make it more glamorous. So take a contour for the cheek and I go from this part of an ear, upper part of the ear towards her mouth but not in her natural uh, hole because I don't want to extend this, I don't want to make her face you know, like a lemon here but I want to just slightly pull it down and prolongate it. So this is how I do it. From the upper part of the ear, I go in a straight line towards her mouth, just down on this part. So this is the part that is most out and on the middle of it, I go down with my brush. So down towards her mouth, this will prolongate her face and make it far more glamorous. You will never be able to make it with powder that this line here wouldn't show because powder won't stick where your hair are. So if you wear your hair down, we pull her hair down later, this looks natural. And um, I'll go also on this part that we balance her face. I'll show you once again. I'll pull my brush in. I go down, down, down. Be careful with these contours. I think the best is that you buy a contour that is like just two or three tones darker than your skin because you won't build it too much. If you buy something really dark you can build it so hard that here you'll be all black. This looks weird, right? So no matter how much I put now on her face, she will always look natural because this is just not too dark for her face. Alright, I took the backlight out so you actually see how even the sides are. Now you already see how this chick is slightly different. Close it and I do the same with this eye. First I'll apply an eyeshadow. I mean the same grey Kevin O'Quan powder. 
to imitate the natural crease and to prolongate her eyes. So here I go out and I actually pull it towards her ear here. We do the final touches, applying shadow from upper part of the ear towards her mouth. So here, this is the part that is most out of the face. So I go just on that part, make a line and then go down towards her mouth with a quite thick brush but still precise one that you don't make a mess here. I see lots of girls using these thick brushes and they go down and they pull it up and that's all muddy here. You need to do a pointed arrow actually. Be very careful when you're using powders because they show far more than a creamy contour we did in a previous video because powders don't bounce light that's why this contour here looks that strong and I usually don't contour nose here down the bridge because I think it, it looks too fake and just remember that also we did this look slightly stronger that you guys see how contours go so you at home do it far lighter you don't want to be all crazy and weird looking when you go out have fun and uh, see you soon. Bye. Bye. Start blending it in here. Circular motions, round, round, round. You need to be fast because these things dry fast. Especially here, you put it in the air. And then here, when you go down, put it like this. So basically, it goes here.